What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, Chris Monroe, and I'm right back at you with another real estate video. Today's video is being brought to you by WokeSkipTracing.com. WokeSkipTracing.com is your number one source for all of your skip tracing needs. Check it out. Get a free account and only pay for matches, not searches, matches, as low as 15 cents per match, WokeSkipTracing.com. So today's training, I'm going over how I'm actually going to be um, using WokeSkipTracing.com. I never showed it, so I wanted to make a quick video to show you how simple and easy it is to skip trace leads and get something going pretty smoothly. So basically, um, I already went on here on WokeSource.com and found a list that I like um the list that i already downloaded was an expired list i'm going to go in here and pull it up let's see here what did i name it expired listings for uh what did i name that thing oh i named it failed listings i changed the word failed listings for april 2020 so it's about 93 uh candidates on here and this is for the entire area that i want to search i go in here i highlight it export the list it tells me it was 93 properties exported. Um, only thing I have to do now is, is change the format of this to a CSV file, which is pretty easy. Matter of fact, let me make this a little bigger. I don't know if I want you seeing my numbers, though, my names and stuff. I don't know. These people kind of slick out here. Um, so basically, like I said, I got the leads here from WokeSource.com. Get a seven-day free trial there and check that out. See if that works for you to get more leads than you can even process and uh, go from there. So basically, I download my list. Let me put that on the screen where you can see. If I can. Bloop. So you got all these jokers on a list, right? But like I said, this comes in an Excel format. I'm going to change it. I'm going to go File, Save As, Other Formats, because we want to change this to a CSV file. When I exported it out of there, it comes as an Excel. So it's a simple changeover once I go into the system here. Um, and what, will we, what do we name that thing? Oh, that's the name of it right there. But I want to change this save file as CSV comma delimited. Now, I don't know if it's going to say that exactly on your computer or not, but this is what I'm going to change it to. CSV comma delimited. Change that and then press save. And you see it's named as property export field listings April 2020. That's what I named it so that I, don't, I can find it later when it's time to export it or time to skip trace it. So once I got my list together, I go back to our favorite website, which is what? WokeSkipTracing.com. And like I say, that's where you can get fast skip tracing results in just minutes. You only pay per match as low as 15 cents per match, depending on the size of the list. You can do one skip trace up to millions. It's a safe checkout and everything. And here's the process. Create your account, begin your search, discounts are automatic, submit your payment info, skip tracing begins, download your results. Pretty simple, pretty easy, pretty smooth. So and I got some other information here. So basically, uh, once I come in here, since I'm already a member, I hope, or I can just go submit my list. Let's see. Boom. I'm already logged in. Once you're logged in, uh, you can, like I say, do bulk skips or you can do single skips, but we're doing a bulk. So we're going to go ahead and upload a bulk over here to the right. You upload the list. It just gives you some warnings and things, letting you know that it's going to add. Um, oh man, I got too many windows popping up. So there we go. So they tell you there. Um, it tells you what the thing is, even though there is no minimum. We need to change that. There are no minimum orders. Uh, you just agree to the pricing. You upload a new list. And what do we name that thing? April 2020. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say, I'm going to say uh, expired. Because remember, these were expired listings. Whoever failed a listing on the MLS last month for the month of April, we want to give them a call and see what's the deal, see if they still want to sell this puppy. In fact, let me make this picture bigger. Bloop. So there you go. Um, so what would you like to name your list? You name it. 
And uh, like it says here, choose a CSV file to dr or drag it here. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And wherever I did with that file, that might make a difference. Uh, let's see here. Let me find the file. And like I said, if this video provides you any type of value, if you learn anything, even by accident, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share. And if you have any questions about anything I'm going over in this video, feel free to post it in the comments below. Ask them in the comments below, and I'll be sure to try my best. And I mean my very best to answer so let's see here i gotta find the file i hid it from myself property export fail listings csv file there we go boom so i would upload that and it would come in and it's really simple all you do from now is drag and drop so therefore once you have it in that csv file you don't have to do any other special formatting because you're just going to add it so as you see here you take the address and put it in property address uh, this bedrooms and all this other stuff, you don't really need that stuff unless you really want it. But I typically don't mess with it because anything you drag over into this is going to create a new spreadsheet that you're going to dial up with the phone numbers on it. I don't care about the county. I don't really care about the day I added to the list. There are no emails yet because we haven't skip traced um, the year built, all of this other stuff. We don't really need it. I do like to know the estimated loan balance. So as you say here, estimated remaining loan balance, I always put that down here in either notes or custom fields. Anything you want to keep that's additional, that's not named above, you can place it down here in the custom fields tab. So like I'm saying, um, so we got date added, email, all of this other stuff over here. We don't need any of that. That's just extra stuff that was on the spreadsheet already. Uh, we might want to know what they listed it for. We can put that in the custom fields, MLS amount, um, MLS date. We can put that down there just in case, because uh, like I said, this data is going to be on a brand new spreadsheet that depending on how you're going to be marketing to these people, um, you know, you might want that information to, to stay into the spreadsheet because whatever you drag onto this will stay on it. If you want it all, you can drag it all. If you only want some, drag some. So I'm going to drag these others real quick. Mailing address, mailing city, uh, mailing unit. Just drag and drop, drag and drop, drag and drop, drop, drag and drag and drop. Pretty simple, pretty easy. And actually, my virtual assistants do a lot of this. I don't even do it. I'm only doing it for the training today. So owner first name and owner. Oh, I did that backwards. Messed that up. So I'm going to cheat here. I want to put that there. Last name and then move that up there to first name. So first name, last name, property address. Um, if there is a unit number, it'll be over here too. But I don't see a unit number um you know you can always double check that property state um that's just going to be probably state because it's not going to say property so we'll just say state property zip zip um and let's see i don't see anything else over here now like i said if you want these bedrooms bathrooms how many loans all of this stuff you can drag that over if you want to how many open loans because that's the data you pull when you pull from wokesource.com you get more data than you can even process. Um, if you want to add the owner, the second owner on the record, you can add that down here as well. But they're not going to search this. These are just extra custom fields, like I said, just for you. If you want to keep that information. So as you see here, everything else over here, I don't think I want. Double check real quick. Mailing care of the name of. We know it failed because that's the name of the list. Um, lean amount. Oh, we might want to know if they got lean. I don't know. Don't matter. Like I said, this is only to get the phone numbers. This is what this is for. Phone numbers and email addresses. But if you want this other data, feel free to drag it over. Um, all this other stuff I don't really care about because I'm going to ask these questions on the phone anyway. So now that we look over here on the right and double check, make sure everything's filled out. I didn't see any unit number over here. Let me double check that. No unit numbers. Nope. Because these are single family houses. Now their mailing addresses have a unit because they might be living in an apartment or something. Uh-oh. And that, that was an alarm. So that's how you do. You do all of that. You drag all of that over. And the only thing is really going to search, like I said, is this top stuff. The notes and custom fields, that's just for your own records if you want to keep it. So after you do all of that, you simply click Next. You double check to make sure it's right. First name, last name, address, all that looks formatted properly. Press Approved. 
uh, you're going to make sure your credit card in there. Hope that credit card goes through for 1860 by now. It's going to do a little bit of magic. The little magic man's going to come here and uh, you can go get yourself a cup of soda or water or whatever you're drinking. Better not be no beer. Not up in here. So you do that. Um, it takes a couple minutes. It's going to come back in a second and it's going to fill in names and email addresses. Um, usually it takes, you know, maybe five minutes if that long. If that's too long, we don't know. So as that goes through, like I said, make sure if you want to check out any of these, the first place is wokesource.com. That's where you get more leads than you can handle. And I got a lot of videos to show you how to use that. That's AKA prop stream. Get you a seven day free trial on that where you can get MLS data, vacant house data, uh, absentee owners, all types of data all across the United States, wokesource.com. That's the place to go to get the leads. When you're going to skip trace the leads, you go over to wokeskiptracing.com. That's what the video is about here. And once you spoken to them or gotten their phone number, if you want to you know, learn more about uh, you know, speaking to sellers, contracts, and getting coaching services, if you need that, I usually don't tell people they need it. I tell people to go watch the 175 plus free videos at wokerealestate.com to learn all this stuff at your leisure. And uh, if you need to add in coaching from that point, you know, I'm definitely here to help. You can learn more about that there. So that's all you got to do if you want to do that. So um, let me go back to this other screen. So as you see here, um, it's already found some of the numbers that quick. And you see it gives you up to three phone numbers um, and you get some email addresses. But I don't want to keep that up too long. I don't want y'all trying to steal my leads. Don't be trying to steal my leads, man. I don't think you're going to steal them no way. You wouldn't do that. You're a promising person. I wouldn't believe you would do that. I think you're good at this stuff. You wouldn't play that game. So, <clears throat> so like I said, so the system is searching for all of that. Once all of that search is complete, let me pull it back up. It'll show you right up here at the top. I'm going to zoom in if I can without breaking something. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. So as you see, it was 93 leads submitted, 88 were matched so it was a 94 percent match rate now like i said earlier any of these leads that you put in here that don't find a match you don't get charged for you only get charged for actual matches and so let me zoom back out so i can give you another quick pan on that like i say that's what it will come back just like that you would get all the names and email addresses for the persons that they did find if there was none found you don't get charged for it so all of these people here are ready to export and do whatever we want to do with it and like i said to check that out that's wokeskiptracing.com if you have any questions comments or concerns let me know all the data is good to go it's quality data that we source from multiple sources so we actually only pick the ones that make the best sense and like i say you can do large orders down to one skip trace if you want to it's pretty simple pretty straightforward and uh you can do it just like that hopefully this video provided you some type of value if it did give it a thumbs up give it a like give it a share and check it out for yourself check out that those sites i mentioned already check out wokesource.com get you more leads and you can process check out woke skip and skip trace those leads and get those phone numbers for people all across these united states and email addresses and if you need contracts, cool gear, or coaching, check out that wokerealestate.com. If you haven't already, make sure you join that free real estate group, Woke Real Estate Investors, on Facebook. Check it out. Plenty of videos and information and networking in there as well. If you're looking for, you know, to network with people that are like-minded because you want to get surrounded by quality people, check it out. Woke Real Estate, Creative Real Estate Investors on Facebook. It's a free Facebook group. So hope you have yourself a great day. Do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me. Hey, we have. Hey, we have. Hey, we have.
Today's broadcast is being brought to you by WokeSkipTracing.com. Look up phone numbers and email addresses with ease, with pricing as low as only 15 cents per match. Not per search, per match. If there's no number or email address, you don't pay. Get accurate data in just minutes. WokeSkipTracing.com. That's WokeSkipTracing.com. 